Dance is that with which is in the unseen realm coming into the seen realm, believe it or not. And most dances, believe it or not, no matter how lovely they look, is standing on the head of darkness. That's what it's doing. Scripture says, every place you place your foot, take the kingdom of God. And so when a dancer is dancing, that's why there's so many steps. They're taking a lot of the kingdom when they do this. And when we dance before the Lord, all we're doing is exhibiting to him the victories he's won in your life. That's what dancing before the Lord is. Did you know that? You didn't know that, did you? So anytime you want to thank God for the victories that are in your life, dance around a little bit. And it will, all that will do is unveil, this is what the warfare looked like to save you. This is what God has done to bring you into his presence. And this is the cost of saving your life. So we live this life in a, in a funny place. Before our, my sweet wife and I got saved, and I was so triggered by Bob, hearing Bobby and Becky's, um, they were not sharing a testimony. I'm not in agreement with that concept. Testimony means a lifetime of change. That's what that means. I've seen, you know, God saved your life. Yeah, I know that. But what happened after that? Where's the fruit? Where's all the other stuff? Where's the, oh my God, look what else he did. And then, oh my, you know how many times a day he saves your life? You think that happened once? You are in a dream. <laughs> he saved your life every single day. He turned something away that was on its way to kill you every single day of your life. And it's probably multiple times in a day. You don't think he's got angels here for reasons? Huh. They're here to keep you breathing long enough to recognize, boy, I just got saved again. Anybody know what I'm getting at? And you know, how many had a great life before you got saved? Does anybody have just really smoking life? Really, really happening? Yeah, not a soul. That's exactly right. Why? Because there is no life prior to life in Christ. Actually, there isn't any life. There's a lot of talk, and there's a lot of whoa -hoo -hoo, but there's no real life until he's there. So when I was younger, I was in a band, and I was really hot in my own mind, and I was quite famous in my own impressions. Nobody else thought that, but... And I had... Had a life, I thought, was on its way to something. We sometimes would call it, call it stardom, and I had enough talent to think that that's possible. Possible. Um, just didn't, you know, all musicians think if I could just do this, if I could just get this song written, if I could just get a break, if I could just, just, whatever. And you live your life with if I could just. How many of you live your lives with if I could just, get my kids to do exactly what I want them to do. If I could just get my parents to let me go at will and not put a parameter on my life. You know the story, if we could just. And so if we could just is the opposite. If I could just follow the Lord, this has an opposite effect. Um, and so... Um, I was having a great time playing in a band. We had a little jazz thing. I used to like to play that groove. And I'd sing to my sweetheart, when my baby, when my baby smiles at me, I go to Rio, uh, De Janeiro, I'm my own Mio. I go wild and then I have to do the samba. You know that's true. Uh, I'm not the kind of person with a passion or persuasion for dancing or romancing. But I feel just like a tiger when I get beside the one that I love. That always charmed her. She thought I was amazing. <laughs> so I always, so you live your life from one charming moment to the other. You see what I mean? And at some point, I'll be very famous, and then you will be so irresistibly attracted to me that you can't stand it. You see what I mean? So that's how I lived my life, in a kind of a semi-happy, drunk state. And that was kind of how we were going along. Uh, 
uh, and then the Lord said, you know, grandmother's prayed long enough, you're coming with me, and I'm going to take your wife with me as well. And so I'm hoping that, uh, that it is possible to drag a spouse along under the prayers of one grandmother. Because God was not going to let her off the hook either. He had his eye on her longer than I did. And so right after that, my stuff changed. To <laughs> I'd play in bars. Oh, yeah, God. First song I wrote when I was a Christian. Do not walk on the path of the wicked. <laughs> Don't set foot in the way of an evil man Oh, avoid it Do not travel on it Turn around, go your own way They cannot sleep till they're doing evil The whole bar is out there drunk And I don't know on your life Watch out for men doing evil Cause they have no regard for life Oh, it's hard enough just believing ah, When there's darkness all around us every day <clears throat> But evil can live like this forever the Lord's going to come and stop it someday. And I'd sing in tongues and they thought, didn't even know it. <laughs> so I'd sit there and they say at the bar, play that sing, you know, that sinner song. Yeah, play that for us. So back to charming people again, you see. And so what happens to us, most of us, <clears throat> is that we haven't seen, we haven't been recognizing things. That's the best I can say. We haven't been recognizing what's happening to us. And so the father was, he was happy. He liked those songs. He, he thought it was funny, especially to sing them in a bar. And, um, and I had no idea at that point in time that, his, his goal uh, wasn't to take his bride uh, out of the church. Isn't that funny? His goal was to take her out of the world. One day the father said something interesting to me. He said, you, did you read the scriptures? Yes, Lord, I know the scriptures. God so loved the world that word is the cosmos. That means this whole planet and everything that surrounds it. He so loved that that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah, but he would have done it for me. That's probably not exactly true because he said the cosmos. I thought, well, why that? Like, why, you know, why that? And he said, because the whole thing went in error, went into error when man fell from his place. That means we still carry a place. And in our acceptance of Christ doesn't just make him accepted. Just because I accepted him doesn't make him acceptable. Is that here? You hear this? We're moving into something much, much deeper than that now. We're moving into the oxygen that is produced that you might breathe. That's the cosmos. Everything that's here is being redeemed by the living God. Every bit of the land, every bit of the air, the trees, the water, everything we didn't do such a good job stewarding. Anybody? Anybody? 